thought Wendy and Gabriel was a fascinating find for the Lakers last season. So I wanted to go over a few things that I've seen from him on both ends of the floor and how I think he can contribute next season. On this first play, Wendy and Gabriel is in an excellent position plugging up the gaps. And the weak side defender's positioning is crucial to stopping guys like Ish Smith that can easily use their speed to go downhill. If you look at Gabriel's body language here, he's not only ready to help on the Ish Smith drive, but also is well aware of who he's guarding in Kristaps Porzingis. As Ish Smith turns the corner to attack the rim, Gable tracks him all the way and aggressively stunts at the ball, which causes Smith to pick up the ball earlier than he wanted to and has to travel. This is a textbook technique on the stunt, as he doesn't overcommit. His right foot remains outside the paint in order to quickly recover back to Porzingis at the 3. Although this was an excellent defensive play by Gabriel, this is exactly the type of regression that would get him in foul trouble last season, as he tended to be a bit too obvious on the reach and often made contact, which prompted the referees to blow the whistle more times than not. Here's a situation where Gabriel gets in trouble with overcommitting. There's a mismatch with Westbrook being on Porzingis on the post up. We have Gabriel's guy that he's defending floating around the three point line. Now Gabriel leaves his man and decides to wholeheartedly double team Porzingis one pass away. But this is a scenario where if Gabriel stunts right toward that elbow at Porzingis, this would cause him to pick up his dribble just as he does right here. Whereas Gable would still have the time to get back to his man and stay in between, instead of ultimately relying on the weak side rotations. If we go back and freeze it right here, look at how out of position Gabriel is in getting back to his man. And look at the distance that he and THT has to cover to get back to the shooter, who if he wanted to, could have easily had a wide open jumper himself. Here's a situation that really exemplifies Gabriel's strength on defense. He's not the best fundamentally, but his hustle is always evident. Here in transition, he starts out behind the rim running center, Daniel Gafford. But he doesn't give up and sprints back into the play, tracking Gafford as he runs down the floor. Hachimura is running the show, and Gafford appears to be one of his best options here. But Gabriel is right there to disrupt the passing lanes with his outstretched arms ultimately taking away an easy dunk or layup from Gafford in transition. Now Hachimura has to pass this to his Schmidt and the play stalls out. You definitely don't see this type of defensive effort from Biggs in transition anymore. Smart heads up defense there. This one is by far my favorite play all season by Gabriel. Notice there is a mismatch at the elbow between Austin Reeves and Scotty Barnes. Gable not only recognizes the mismatch up top, but also recognizes that LeBron can play two here on the back side, and that gives him the perfect opportunity to surprise and trap Scotty Barnes here in the paint. I love how aggressive Gabriel is here with the high hands to try to prevent the pass, and he's also very active with his feet. Excellent defensive combination. Near turnover here for the Raptors, but they end up getting the ball back and everyone resets and takes a man. Now the shot goes up, and instead of just watching the flight of the ball, Gabriel makes a smart play and comes off his man, who is up there near the top of the key, and he goes to put a body on the shooter, whose momentum is carrying him towards the rim. Now the ball gets tapped out, and the Raptors get another possession. The ball gets passed out to Thaddeus Young, who is an NBA veteran. Gabriel is now playing two, with Chris Boucher right behind him. What would you do in this situation? Gable quickly stunts at Young and he takes the bait and quickly throws it up towards the rim instead of waiting on Gable's commitment and just dropping it off to Boucher. Now this is a veteran player. I think the reason behind this is because Gable's stunt is so purposeful it caught Thaddeus Young off guard. And even with that said, Gable is still backpedaling towards Boucher to try to put a body on him and ultimately grab this rebound. Just an impressive showing of hard work and hustle. Overall, Gabriel is a serviceable defender in this league, but his eagerness and overcommitment issues plagued him on that end of the floor, and it's definitely something he has to work on and channel during this offseason.